Hey, good morning. I hope you had a great weekend. It's Monday and it's time to start off the week all fresh and new. I just got done with teaching a wonderful class of, of motivated seniors, mostly seniors, a few um, younger um, ladies. I really love teaching this class because they're fun. We listen to fun music and it's a little bit of a party. And they just work out and work out and say, more, give us more, see Han. So anyways, on the way to work this morning, sorry, stop shaking. I was listening to the radio and he was talking about stories that kids write. And he said he had written a story called Once I Had a Bad Day. So I just wanted to talk about today. We do have bad days, but it's, I remember having conversations with um, some people that I weren't too fond with, I had to work with them anyways, whether I wanted to or not, communicate with them. And and our conversations would give make me have a bad day. It's like, you know, a five-minute conversation that I would have with this person would, like, ruin my day. And then I'd, like, cast it over and over in my head and ruin the next day. And the next day, and I remember, like, sitting at the sink and, like rehashing this conversation in my head over and over again, you know, and, and storing, which means like making up things in my mind that weren't even happening. It's like, okay, if I said this to her, what is she going to say? And then what am I going to say in response? And just continuing, continuing and continuing for days and days and days. Yeah. Once I had a, da a bad day, it was a bad moment, but because I kept like going over it in my mind over and over again, it became a bad day and then a bad week and then a bad month and um it would just like our disagreements would just like spin out of control and it was crazy over one simple thing that she said and maybe it was even a misunderstanding or something that we didn't agree on so what so one day when I was at church um and this was years ago so I don't really remember exactly what the pastor said but I realized Sian, stop storing and making up conversations in your mind of things that she's going to say. Shake it off and let it go. You know, start thinking about ways that you can end the conflict or suggesting ideas and, and start praying for her and being nice to her. And, um, you know, it's like she doesn't have to be my enemy. You know, yeah, we don't get along. We're not friends, but I don't have to spend and waste my time when I'm doing my dishes thinking about, you know, how I'm going to react to something that she says that I don't like. So instead, I started praying for her and, and um, you know, trying to, at least if I didn't like what she had to say, not think about it. It's just like, let it go. So what I, I'm hoping that you get out of this is like, turn off those voices in your head. It's like if you have a bad conversation with someone, a negative conversation with it, you know, let it go. You don't have to like sit, you know, spend your your day rehashing it out, you know, making up things, um, storing in your head what, you know, what you could say or what she could say and and what what's the worst thing that could happen. Or, you know, maybe think about how can I change this into a positive situation? You know, think about positive things of outcomes that may happen just turn the focus to a positive situation you know start start um praying for her or him um that praying that the situation would get better start thinking about um ways that you can make the the friendship better even if it's not a friend think about ways that you what maybe you could help that person out in a way so anyways the, the big takeaway that I'm hoping that um, is that I used to story a lot and it ruined my life. I used to take small little situations and turn them into huge things. You know, there's only a few things that are really huge things in our life, that huge negative things um, that really, um, that we really need to spend more time thinking about. And even those things, there's ways that we too can, can turn those into a positive. So anyways, have a great day and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.